What is going on, guys? Wiser here, bringing you the recap of the last war for Invicta. It's against this area, Brazil, War Clan, level 8. Uh, these guys did their best. They brought 50 50 attacks, um, you know, and it wasn't too, too uh, far of a victory for Invicta. Uh, you will see this in a moment. I just want to mention, though, this was Invicta's 100th win. So awesome job. Uh, Invicta, you know, really, really uh, impressive milestone for the clan. Uh, so, grats to all you guys that got to be a part of that. So, that is awesome. Uh, and the nice part was, as I'm about to show you, it wasn't really a blowout or anything. This was not a rollover war. Invicta had to perform to ensure the victory here. 65 uh, 61 was the score. See, the, uh, you know, only got had one on unique there, one on mark. Uh, Three to a lot of those tops, but a lot of them were bullies. Uh, but they had their game plan. They stuck to it. Can't argue with that. You know, they used 50-50 and gave us a run for the money. So, um, but uh, as you'll see here, <clears throat> one star on there. But other than that, everything two and then three all the way down. So nice job. That's what I like to see for our 100th win with Invicta. Uh, you know, pretty much a nice, clean, clean board. Well done, gentlemen. Uh, hats off. Uh, I am going to just kind of jump right in here and get into some of these replays but what I wanted to do for this one um, I call these guys my bottom beasts because uh, I know what it's like uh, I'm a very low war weight I've stuck to I've only had level two crossbows and level four sweepers for like a super long time um, you know and I'm, I'm getting close to almost max heroes uh, so I'm going to go up very, very soon. However, I know what it's like being the, that bottom 10 in on the TH9 war map. Uh, there's a lot of expectations, you know, when you're against the bottom nine, uh, nines. Uh, not necessarily in a range wars because it's very similar pretty much all the way down. But especially in just normal wars, uh, you know, you are expected to always ensure some of these tree stars. So I'm going to show you our, what I call my bottom beasts here and how they handle their bottom. Um, you know, not a crazy, crazy, but you know, let's look at Slick. Slick's 19 king, 20 queen against a, uh, sorry, 6 queen and 10 king. So not a crazy, a, a good advantage, but nothing crazy. You still need to dissect his base properly for uh, to get the three star here. So um, he brings... A Shattered Lalo. Now, only offs for the two Lama Hounds. I think that's very smart just because of the low-level air defense, the low-level Archer Towers, right? Those are, that Archer Tower is not even more Town Hall 8 yet. Um, so, obviously, there's a very, very new Town Hall 9. Level 1 doesn't even have Expos. My bad. So, it's like still like an 8.5. Um, so, yeah. Uh, poison goes down. Jump goes down. Going to jump right in between those two air defense. Like I've said a bazillion times, Going in with your kill squad and you manage to get two air defense, the CC troops, the defensive queen, you're looking good. That's all I, that's all I can say. I, I can't tell you you're going to get a three star because you still need to do a lot of other things very properly. However, that is your goal with your kill squad, especially, you know, two ADs when you're going for air and some sort of double jump, some sort of bomb set Tesla trap if you're looking at Hawks. That's about all I'll say. That, 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 that's kill squads in a nutshell. They had they need to have a goal. And obviously when you start throwing in Arch Queen walks, you start throwing in Queen charges, which are becoming super, super popular. Um, it Your objectives change a little bit because they don't change, I should say. Your objectives are always the same. You always need to take care of the defensive queen. You always need to make sure the CC troops are accounted for. You always need to ensure your kill squad is getting some sort of other um, uh, target or goal accomplished other than those things, such as bomb placements, air defense, Tesla farms, um, you know, uh, whiz tower, Lalo traps, uh, whatever it might be. Um, it, it, so when you're looking at queen walks, well, you don't just queen walk the base. You got you think about well, what is your queen going to get, and what does that mean for the rest of your army comp? Um, you know, if your queen's going to charge into the base and get four air defense and the defense of queen, well, yeah, you probably just want to bring dragons on the back end, uh, right? There's nothing to stop them. Uh, if your queen's going to go in and defuse all four bombs, 
you'll probably just want to hog because there's nothing to stop them. That's what you got to think of, right? Um, when you're looking at why you would queen charge, why you would queen walk. Uh, and yes, they're insanely powerful attacks at Town Hall 9 these days when you have uh, high level heroes. So um, starting to practice it, you know, it's watching guys do it at that queen 15, you know, uh, I would definitely, once your queen's 15, I'd start practicing that, that kind of stuff. So um, not going to see that too, too much here. I think I got one queen charge I'm going to show you. Maybe it's even a queen walk. I'm not sure. I forget. Ooh, why did I hit that button? So, as you can see, same freaking thing, except that he brings Valks and Hawks. Okay. Shattered entry, right? Poison goes down. CC troops getting taken care of. Guess where his jump placement is going to go? Right beside that queen, right? These are your objectives, guys, at Town Hall 9. If you cannot master these basics of accomplishing these objectives when breaking down a base, it's it's that you don't understand how to to do town hall nine you're definitely not going to understand town hall ten so don't don't go up right until you master how to how to do these attacks because this is this is really how you break it down right jump spell goes in and I normally wouldn't bring Valks in this situation however uh, Glenn really reads this well sees these low level walls that with this king look how fast this wall goes down boom like three seconds that wall is just shredded through um, so you know just punishing this low level wall base uh, hogs are in still has two heals here drops a heal right now I'm gonna move everything into this uh, last section for this one more heal I think there's bombs here but the Valks are gonna trigger it before any hogs get there yeah double giant bomb is diffused and the hogs are completely safe Queen's going to go in there and help out, clean up all over the base. Has a swag heal and a and um, an archer as well. Clean up wizard may as well go down. He didn't even need it though. So beautiful attack land. Just crush this guy. Look at all those units. <laughs> I said units. And you're a gentleman. You didn't even drop the swag heal. What a gentleman. Look at this Glenn guy. Tree stars in the bag. Okay. Uh, Kinger. Co-leader down in Invicta. Love this guy. <clears throat> so, uh, I believe he opts for uh, a shattered entry. Just a, this is just a pure, pure shattered Lalo. Um, again, guys, when you see a base like this, this is why you shattered Lalo. Okay? Look at, look at uh, the flaws to this base. Okay? First of all, on this entry side where everyone's going to come in because your queen's there and two air defense are there, there's like no hit points on this side. So it's super easy funnel, funnels everything in very quickly. The hound is probably a good call here because it's going to stall things out, but it's just not enough. These air defense are too close together. As soon as everything kind of moves past here into this, they're going to get the queen. The queen is going to step up and get this air defense that's outside that wall. The king's already in the process taking down this air defense. Oh, the king dies here, but the golems are about to take it down. Boom, see you later. Queen's just going to mop up those pups and then take down that town hall and then take down that air defense. As soon as that air defense goes down, again, three lab hounds. 14 balloons, except he's got two rages and a haste <laughs> as well. Um, so that is just awesome. Queen's going to walk up here, finish off, I think, one more defense, hits that ability, boom, there it is. Uh, and hounds go in, boom, one, two, three. Just just go ahead, right? The low-level air defense, you want to get those hounds in very, very early, and then just two balloons, two balloons, just back everything up. Rage is going to go down. As soon as those balloons get in there, bam, it's going to start wrecking everything and, and just starts funneling them in right has five more balloons still he's going to just slowly drop on the outside to keep everything just moving in in a counterclockwise circle here <clears throat> two more loons like i said dropping on that arch tower see you later cannon rage spell see you later expo like this base does not stand a chance from this point a couple more defense structures and it's cleanup oh look at that troll tesla oh at a 99% attack in the WHF4 because the guy put a troll Tesla and a double giant bomb at the Tesla. Ugh. It's heartbreaking. Absolutely heartbreaking. But then right after they got a 99%. So it was like karma. I guess Town Hall 9, really, you're just looking these days to defend once. Because cleanup's pretty much impossible to defend against, sort of. Anyways, Pentino, I'm rambling on here. Here it is. 
I think it's a queen walk. You could have easily charged as well. Uh, so here we go. I'm going to funnel off this army camp and just push her basically all the way from 12 down around uh, the 3 o'clock location. Move in and take out the bomb that's clearly in between that uh, cannon and the expo. But this takes a bit. We're going to times two this little bit of a walk. Ba -ba -ba -ba, ba -ba 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 -ba. Just going to rock through all of these buildings. Doesn't even have to use a rage yet. Go ahead and get the lure. Yeah, up comes the lure. There goes the rage. As soon as that king comes out, great, great timing on that. Poison goes down. I'm gonna help that queen out. It doesn't matter. She's standing under a rage. Doesn't stand a chance for those CC troops. <clears throat> Just gonna continue her way around, and here comes the kill squad. Two golems in. Shatter entry. Boom. Wall break is clean. Funnel is clean. Queen's gonna continue walking down and join up and close off her walk. King goes in, just going to jump in at this defensive queen, smack her down in two seconds, and then here come the Hawks, few per defense, just all on the outside, no chance of bombs at all in this location. I think there is one in here. No, maybe I was wrong. Yeah, I was wrong. <laughs> so, oh, there it is. I knew it was there. I knew something was there. Anyhow, it is clean up. Just destroyed this Pinto. Pitino. I call it we have Pintasar in 2.0, or 2.0, I forget. He's all over the place. We have Pintasar anyways. I think he's actually an Invicta. We're checking that right now. My brain is fried, if you guys can't tell. Oop. God. Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure Pintasar is in 2.0. <laughs> I get lost with the tens too because I don't uh, I, I don't do a ton of recaps from the tens right I don't know my brain's fried sorry Pinto anyways Pinosaur in two point oh um, is uh, very similar to Patino so every time I want to say his name I say the wrong name I need to go to sleep <laughs> all right what did I show there Patino did we just show Patino Yes. Sorry, guys. Wow. Whew. All right. <laughs> Let's finish this beer and finish this recap and go to bed. Kickbacks. Love it. Guess what? Shattered Lalo. Guess what? Two air defense that are very close together with the queen. Guess what? One jump. I'm going to let everything in here. Smash, smash, smash. Poison goes down. CC dies. Weird. 2.30 in the morning. I just heard a big crash in the background. <laughs> wow. Crazy, crazy night. And <laughs> mission accomplished. Here comes the air attack. This base does not stand a chance. Three lab hounds, two in there. One in nice and early there. Soaks up a ton of stuff. Pops nice and early. Rage goes down. Defenses are all just going to just be demolished here. See you later. There's a Wiz Tower cannon to go, and it's cleanup. Kickbacks just destroys this base. And again, so so look, we're only on number 21. This guy's got lava walls. This guy's got mostly max defenses. Like uh, Lower level heroes, yes, I get that, but that doesn't make a huge difference with the right plan. If you got exploits like that, the guy could have level 30 heroes, and you'd still have very similar success. So <clears throat> keep that in mind, peoples. Uh, yeah, I think that was about all I was going to show you. I think I really need to go to bed. Clearly, I do. I am rambling on and on and on. Fantastic job. 100th win. Beautiful. Calling it a night. Does it for your wisdom from Wiser. It's trying to help you bag that next tree star. And until then, I'm out.